Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve one of the you know recently asked L2 interview scenario. So the, the candidate was attending the interview and uh, the interviewer asked him to solve this question of uh, finding running sum of last 13 months. Okay, so let us now let us try to solve this. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now there are multiple calculations that we can do, or you know, multiple ways we can do. What I'm trying to do is one of the approaches. If, if you know alternate approach, you can definitely comment in the comment section. Let let me see how many of you can find out an alternative to this. Okay, so the first step is creating your view. Okay, I'm simply taking year of order date and month of month of uh, this one so that we can get, you know, view with respect to year and month. Now, there can be another challenge where the requirement will be like, you know, they, you, uh, I mean, he will be asking you to show only 13 months of data in the view. Like if you see, we have a view from 2021 till 2024 right so sometimes they might also ask you to restrict your view to show only 13 months of data so in that case what is the condition you are going to write okay so pause the video here and you can comment in the comment section okay so for now i'm just taking my sales and maybe i'll drop it on or or maybe i'll not take that for now instead of that i'll take major names and I'll drop it here and measure value. I'll just drop my measure name here. None. And I'm simply taking my sales and apply. Okay. And measure values, I'll drop it on label. So I got sales, right? Sales, but for this is for all of the years from 2021 to 2024. Now, if I simply write a rolling sum here, Okay, simply write a rolling uh, 12 months. It would be simple. Like say, I can use window function. Okay, window sum of, okay, my sum of sales of what well, last 12 months from zero. Okay, so this is one way of doing, but you know, I'm just trying to show you another version where you know, I feel user might be only interested in last 13 months. So if you see here, what is happening? It is starting from 2021. Okay, now it is aggregating 14,000 plus 4,000 is 19,000. Okay, 19,000 plus again, this 56, you will get 75. 75 plus 28, again 108. So like that, it is trying to aggregate. I don't want that to happen. I want only last 13 months of sales to be displayed in the view and that to be aggregated okay so that is another one so you have to be very clear what you are doing or if you have any doubt in between you can definitely check with the interviewer based on that you can you know update or customize your calculations so what i'm doing is i'll just keep this like this only uh, maybe i'll just try to find out uh, last 13 months of sales okay so what i'm doing is first trying to find out a date diff okay so date difference of uh month apart i'm taking okay because we are dealing with month here okay and i'll take order date comma today should be what should be less than or equal to 12 okay and date diff of month of order date again comma today is greater than or equal to zero simple okay now if i if i want my view to be restricted only for 13 months then i will just create this filter and drop it on filter shelf okay so let us check that so i'll just see you got a boolean uh, calculated field true or false so if i just try to drop it and select only true my view will be only for last 13 months okay we don't want that also right we want sales of that so i'm not filtering it but if at all there is such a requirement in your project you can use that okay so it is a very important scenario okay and very handy so in this case whenever this condition is satisfying okay i'm writing an if statement on top of that okay so if i'm opening bracket and i'm closing this here 
at the end. If this condition is satisfying, then give me sales else zero and ending it. Okay, simple. Okay, so I'll just click on apply and okay. Now, if I try to bring this last 13 months into my view, okay, so what happened to it? Okay, if you observe here, only last 13 months of sales we got here. So from September, here also till September you got. Okay, now we need to find out sales or aggregation. Okay, simply here. So you can either simply go and do an aggregation on top of that. Now we will do uh, on top of this calculation, whatever the rolling 12 months we have written, I'm just trying to duplicate that. Okay, I'm editing it. Sales here, instead of sales, we will be using last 13 months, whatever we have found that I'm trying to use here. Okay, apply, okay. I'll just bring this into my view. Now, if you see here, only for that it is trying to aggregate okay, 73 plus 59, 133 we got again, 133 plus 59 we got 212 like that. Now it's taking aggregation or rolling 12 is happening it accordingly. So in this way you can solve this interesting scenario. Okay, so this is the expectation right currently from the market you, that you are able to solve this type of you know critical uh, challenges. Okay, so prepare well. You know, I think our Tableau scenarios playlist from our channel will definitely help you in clearing this. Okay, I hope this interview, uh, this video has helped you. If it does, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and give a feedback. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.